Yo, hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video. Designers and developers, welcome. In this tutorial, we will explore how to seamlessly integrate Figma with Visual Studio Code in 2023. The combination of Figma's design, capabilities and Visual Studio Code development environment is a game changer for collaborative projects. Join me as I guide you through the steps to connect these tools, empowering designs and developers to work harmlessly on projects. So let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have the full information. So guys, the first thing is to head up to Figma.com and of course to create an account. The same thing goes for Visual Studio Code, but for Visual Studio Code you need to actually download it. So make sure guys to go to Visual Studio Code, which is code.visualstudio.com. There we go. And from this page, you can simply choose uh, which files do you want to download. So in our case here, Visual Studio Code, I want to download it. So click here to download it for free. And here simply choose which kind of like uh, Windows do you have or which kind of system do you have. The access Mac OS, Windows or Linux. Or simply you can open it on your web browser to save time. So this is for Visual Studio Code and for Sigma. Now, after you install Visual Studio Code and you download it, open it and everything, it should be something like that. So this is how it looks like. Let me just don't save. So here, all we need to do first is to add uh, Figma to Visual Studio. How can we do it? Well, as you can see here, we have this menu on the left. Here there is Explorer, there is Search, Source Control, Run and Debug, and here where is extensions. Simply click on extensions and search for Figma. So here simply click on the first one. As you can see it is made by Figma.com and now this is Figma for Visual Studio Code as you can see here. Now simply all you need to do is click on install and there you go. So this is basically how it looks like. Now, streamline, this is like basically the details about this uh, plugin. So streamline your design to code workflow with Figma for VS Code. Figma for VS Code lets you navigate an aspect design files, collaborate with designers, track changes, and speed up implementation all without leaving your text editor. Improve developer productivity by eliminating the context switching and buzzy work needed to turn designs into code. What can you do with Figma for VS Code? See or respond to comments and activity in real time. No longer worry about missing notifications in Figma. With Figma for VS Code, open live design files in the sidebar and collaborate in real time. Receive and respond to new comments and activity within Figma files, as you can see here on the left. Discuss layouts with designers using cursor chat, as you can see here. And there is also more. Get code suggestions based on design. Stay in flow, more productivity than never. Before with auto completions based on the designs you've actively working in, select a layer on your design and the properties will appear as code suggestions where you type. They literally are going to have your mouse, your mouse on the design and they are literally going to work uh, for you and make the design. So you can download assets to your repo with a single click also and there is more. You can link code file to design components, help your whole team move faster by keeping your design system and code base in synchronization, quickly navigate and document your code base in relation to design files and no longer worry about finding existing implementations of components. As you can see here, add and review the resource links to easily reference documentation. Here, you could have troubleshooting, traffic bugs and bugs, and finally a note about the beta plus legal fine prints. The feature contribution, here you will find every ID, everything that can help you, the channel log, uh, dependencies, so here the VS Code, the VS Code, 
runtime stats so you could have here literally everything and for the command you will find them here as well so let's search for figma here so you could either search for it here or search for it anywhere inside of your website you can here of course go and install another version you can disable it you can here click on call extension id apply extensions extension to all profiles so you can do a lot of things using this actual uh, like easy tool to use just a thing to put in mind guys that here on the left when i write figma there is a lot of things there's this copycat figma to react there's figma to flutter properties converters so it's really really depending on what you do really want so for example if you want figma in general for vs code well you are going to use this one if you want it for react to so for example copycat figma to react well you are going to download this one if you want another Figma, well, for example, for, to Flutter Properties Converter, well, you do want this one. So you don't really have to follow my guide 100%. It really varies on what are your goals. So make sure the only things are these ones. The Figma is the one developing it. So here, Kiwi Mrs. Format, this is like another extension. But here, as you can see, Figma, if I clicked on it, they will redirect me to their website so it is they are the ones who made it make sure also that the ended file here is figma and it is published and last released and updated recently so you can know that they are actually working on this project they are not like leaving it or made it once and left it there to be as it is they're actually customizing it updating it and doing new things to it each time and since they have released it so these are the criteria to put in mind in case you would like to connect your Figma account or your Figma in general with the VS Studio code. It's very easy guys, nothing is that complicated as you saw in this video. You just have to get an account on Figma as I have shown you. So just get an account in here. You can simply click on design anything. So you can click here, design file, create a file or simply click here and open it design this for example we can even get this one into vs code and vs code will literally uh, make changes and make a code for it it can literally make a login page uh, and this is basically just basic login page it can literally make it for us without any problems but for complicated projects that you guys are working on VS Code with Figma can really and highly uh, upgrade your codes and makes it easier and faster to make the code and to make the design look as a code or the code looks as a design, whatever the expression that actually uh, describes it. But yeah, you got the idea. And this is basically it for today's video, guys. I showed you how to simply connect Figma to Visual Studio Code. So thank you guys a lot for watching and see you guys in the next tutorial.